Happy Blue Friday Floss Tube. Hi, my name is Lisa and this is my channel Cross by Floss. And today is Friday, December 20th, I think. And there are five more days to Christmas. And I am not prepared in any way, shape or form. Nope. So, um, you know, now that my kids are older, uh, you know, Christmas isn't quite, you know, like we don't have to do the big Santa gifts and, um, you know, now that they're older and they have a lot of their own things, you know, really it's kind of like, let's all pool our money together kind of thing and then divide it and then, you know, buy one big gift for each person, um, something that they want or need that they wouldn't necessarily buy for themselves. And, um, and then, of course, we have our Christmas Eve tradition of jammies, and uh, I have done that since my kids were little, and, um, and I hope that we continue that tradition. I mean, my oldest is almost 29, and we still do that, and now, you know, some of my kids are have some signif significant others, and now they're included in that tradition because... Christmas Eve is, is mine. Um, you know, I have said to the kids, if you want to go to your significant others for Christmas day, that is totally fine. But Christmas Eve and Christmas morning will always be mine. And, um, and they are cool with that, that it works out for their significant others, families. And, um, and so Christmas Eve and the jammy tradition will always be mine. And then Christmas morning, because we've got the little and she's eight, and, um, you know, Santa brings a really nice gift and then, you know, she's got her stocking and, um, and little gifts from everybody because let's face it, she is uber spoiled. So, um, but again, I'm not prepared. Like I have something for my daughter, but I'm on a wait list. And so I might have to go to plan B, which I don't think is going to work out. Maybe even plan C, it might get all the way down to plan like G. Um, I do have my two other boys and then unfortunately Sean is still on the road. Mr. G is still on the road and, um, he came home for a few hours and basically did some errands that he needed to do, you know, get his driver's license and, um, his trucking one and, um, you know, throw in a load of laundry and unfortunately I had to work and he lives like not quite an hour away from me. And so we just kind of missed each other. So I wasn't able to see him when he was here on Monday this week. And uh, yeah, so it's just been, it's been kind of a weird week, kind of a crappy week. It's been a busy week at work, blah, blah, blah. And so I just have not, and I'm gonna say that I have never been the kind of person to actually, like I'm a procrastinator, I truly am. Like I was always that person, person Christmas Eve going, ooh, I still need to buy some gifts. Mm -hmm. So I was that crazy person going out Christmas Eve and, um, and going to Target and Macy's in the mall, which I don't do those things anymore. Thank you, Amazon. Like seriously, thank you, Amazon. Plus I got smart. And again, now my kids are older. I just give like IOUs or like a, a sheet of paper of, hey, this is coming <laughs> kind of deal. And they're fine with it. You know, they still have like little things to open, but the big majority thing is, yeah. <sighs> okay, so how about we get into like cross stitch? Yeah. So again, welcome to my channel. Um, if you are new, um, thank you for coming by and I hope that you like what you hear and see and would like to subscribe. And if you are returning, hey, thank you. You guys are awesome. All right. Um, so it's only been a week since my last video. Good Lord. That sounded like a, a confession meeting. Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm addicted to cross stitch. It's only been a lot a week since my last video, though I have cross stitched in between. Well, that sounds good, right? <laughs> okay, I'm in a weird mood, sorry. Okay, so let's get into my whips that I have because you know, cross stitching channel, let's talk about cross stitch. All right, 
I'm so excited. Look guys. Okay, what can you see? Um, I am almost done with this piece. I have pretty much exclusively been working on this piece. So I finished uh, five. I finished uh, section five. So I've done uh, one, two, four, and five. And three up at the top there. I think that's three. I might be wrong. Anyways, it's one section I need to finish. And it's basically the same as the bottom um, music notes, but a lot longer. And so that's where I am. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud, you guys. Like, I haven't had a lot of time to cross stitch because I haven't been getting home until almost eight o'clock every night from work. And, um, and so I stitch a couple of hours and and yeah, so this is done on 16 count Ada. I'm, I'm fairly certain it's 16 count Ada. Ada, I'm going to get one of those gauge things so I actually know what I'm talking about because most of the time I do buy like remnants and they say on the bag, but then I throw the bag away because why would I keep that? Anyway, I mean, I keep all kinds of other stuff. Can't keep the bag with what it is. So I think that it is 16 count ivory might be antique white. I'm not sure. And then I know for sure I'm doing it in DMC 115. Um, and it's, it's one of their variegated flosses and I like it. I do like it. Um, it's really pretty. And apparently my daughter likes it also because she has now claimed it as her own. And she's like, I even know what I'm going to frame it in. I'm like, girl, <laughs> I haven't even finished this sucker and she's already got it together. So that was whip number one, and um, I have a couple of whips, but I have not been working on them. So I'm not going to bother showing them because I haven't been working on them. But the second one that I did work on was this prairie schooler pattern. And, you know, guys, I get my words mixed up sometimes. I think I called this a prairie schoolhouse pattern last last time um it's totally okay to correct me most of the time i know that i've done it wrong after the fact and um and it is what it is my family is adapted <laughs> my work is adapted <laughs> i do it all the time so i'm just gonna apologize forever and just say i'm gonna get stuff wrong it's inevitable. Okay, so what I am doing this on is 16 count natural light Ada. And that's where I've gotten. I've finished the border basically, and I've got the little flowers up in the top. Um, and so then I'll be able to start working on basically the meat of the pattern, um, which I'm super excited about. I love the colors, like these are the colors. Let's see. You see those? These are the colors. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Um, in this, in this pattern, and I love them. They're just, I love these colors. So that's pretty much what I've been working on. And then, um, I have no FOs, no FFOs. Frankly, I'm never gonna get, you know, their I have all kinds of plans, dreams, wishes. <laughs> I am off for a few days over Christmas, and so I'm hoping that I will get some significant stitchy time in. It also depends on Mr. G if he's going to be able to get back into the state or if he is um, still kind of on the road and um, what's happening there. So either I will get a lot of stitching time in. Well, even if he comes home, we're going to have a stay vacation. Staycation. Yeah, we are because he has been, he has seen a lot of states. <laughs> I think he's tired, tired. Okay, so um, I have a little bit of haul. It's really not much. It is things that I have um, either subscribed to or last time in my video, I mentioned that I used to be part of Fabrics by LJ. He was... Um, his name's Lucas. He was on Floss Facebook. He had a Facebook uh, group and he hand dyed fabrics and did a fantastic job. Um, him and his mom 
and um, but unfortunately he decided with you know life that he couldn't do it anymore which is super unfortunate because his fabrics are gorgeous like the colors of his fabrics are beautiful and I bought a lot and then I became like part of the fabric of the month club and um, and then he would hold sales like once a week or once every two weeks and man alive those sales were vicious um, but I you know I bought a lot so I have a lot of hand dyed fabrics by LJ fabrics and so when he decided to, you know, go out of business basically and not do this anymore, he posted not too long ago, hey, I have a bunch of random boxes that I'm going to put random fabrics in. I think it was $35. He's packing the boxes. And I was like, and, you know, with floss, hand-dyed floss, they did that too, and fabrics and a surprise. And I was like, uh, I'm in. So I grabbed one so look at the size of the box right so it's a good size box and then look inside i haven't even i just opened this look he put in like a ton of stuff so let's have a looky looks at what he did okay so i and i have bought some of his glosses before and i love them so oh my goodness look at these you guys oh wow Okay, so right here, this is probably worth the $35 right here. Um, wow. And he included a bunch of the same. Oh, bless you, Lucas. Okay, so there is this one here. And this is called Magic Mist. And these are 10 yard skeins. I need to get a piece of paper or something so you guys can see. Let's see. Uh, okay, we'll use the back of that. Okay. So how lovely are those? Pretty, pretty. So that's mad, uh, what did I say? Magic mist, something like that. Okay, this one is shiny gigalith. Yeah, shiny gigalith. Mm, I had to get my piece of paper right. Oh, that's super pretty. Yeah, that's super pretty. Okay, and then there is, oh, candy canes. Okay, so when this was dyed the first time, I didn't get any, and I really wanted them. But how pretty would this be on a, here, let's just get one. <laughs> how pretty would this be on a, Maybe one, Lisa. Oh my goodness. Okay, there. Let's try that. Um, on a Christmas pattern. Oh, so pretty. Okay. And then, oh, Cloud Palace. Mm, okay, you guys. And I have a bunch of this one. You know what? Ooh. There are some samplers that are free on a website that I might do these with. Okay, so I got a bunch of Cloud Palace. Oh, let's get one here. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then there was one skein. Oh, no, that's Shiny Gigalith. Never mind. And then this one is called Jelly Beans. Oh, man. Lucas, thanks so much. I mean, there's so many, and I'd actually be able to do, like, how cute is this, right? Yeah, no, that's pretty. That is beautiful. Yep. So he, um, 10 yard skeins. I believe that these are all cotton fly. Yeah, they are. Um, so really nice. Okay, and then look at this handful of fabrics, you guys. Look at all these fabrics. And he's got names for them. Oh, bless you. He did Ada. I, I, I think he knew because he, he knows I, I've bought uh, again, a lot from him and, um, so, oh, okay. So here is a 16 count Ada and these pieces are like 17 by 24, 17 by 26, things like that. So they're pretty good. So that's a purple and it's called galaxy. This one is actually a 25 count Lugana and uh, it's 17 by 26. 
and its color is lime. I mean, you guys got to see this. Like, oh my God, look at that color. Oh, so pretty. And his fabrics always smelled so nice. I mean, holy crap. Um, he, and he said like, you know, that this was going to be, um, like a random box of random fabrics, random shapes, sizes, counts, you know, the whole deal. So here is a linen. I will never work on this. Um, and it is called ectoplasm and it's a really nice bright green. So probably in a giveaway one day. Uh, here's a Lugana Mist, 25 count. Oh, this is pretty too. Um, I might stitch on that. I might. Lugana might be, Ada's always gonna be my first love. Okay, here is a 16 count Ada Periwinkle. Should be trying to get these out while I'm talking to you a pretty pretty blue that's lovely and I see one of my mermaids on that here is another 32 count ectoplasm linen here is a uh, bright skies this is a 28 count linen I mean it feels lovely but these holes are just too hard for me to see they're just too small and um yeah I just, I have issues with my eyesight and yeah, I just can't do it. I have, I have truly tried. Uh, this is Ada, he calls it Ada Linen 14 count and he made this scarlet. So this is a smaller piece. This is a 13 by 15 and it looks like it shrunk quite a bit, but look at the color like, wow, wow. Yeah, that's pretty, 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 pretty. Again, his fabrics, you guys, it is unfortunate that he has gone out of business because he really did a lovely job on his fabrics. And, um, and again, I really liked him and I have a lot of his fabrics, but it's okay because I now belong to a few fabric of the month clubs. I'm, I'm not without fabric, believe me. And then this one is an Ada 14 count, 13 by 15 piece, and this is ectoplasm. So you can see like how different, okay, so this is a 14 count Ada ectoplasm, ectoplasm. And then this is, you know, the same, the same one dyed in linen and look at how different that color is. So, yeah, this would make a really pretty Christmas piece or a Halloween piece. Yeah, again, I won't, I won't stitch on linen. And so these linen pieces will probably go up in a giveaway at some point. So watch for that. Okay, so seriously, that that's what $35 box, like that's a huge amount of linens, mm, sorry, fabrics and um and flosses like super pretty and then he also added in oh he dyed a, a little bag oh how cute is this so he dyed um a little zippered pouch that i can i'll have to fix this some of the threads are loose but um i will use that probably for um tools you know, steam tools. So that, that Mr. LJ was lovely. Thank you so, so much. I mean, the fabric, these threads alone, seriously, his hand dyed threads alone, that was a bunch of threads. I would have paid $35 for that back when he had a sale. So that's a nice little bag of threads. Okay, let me put these <laughs> over here. Okay, the second thing that I bought, and this is because of Sherry. I will link her information down below. She has a YouTube channel, and um, unlike me, she actually does finishes <laughs> on her items. And um, she was showing, 
I think one of her Halloween pieces that she had put this trim around and she said that she bought it off of AliExpress. And so I am so sorry. So I immediately went on to order a bunch of the little palm. So it's little palm, um, you know, uh, trim and it is so cute and it was cheap. It was cheap. Like I don't remember. So I bought a Christmas green, a white, uh, lime green because that's Seahawks colors and this blue. However, that's not quite the right blue for Seahawks, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to work with it. Um, a red, an orange and a black Halloween and then uh, like a ivory. So really super nice and again not a lot of money and um, it did take a really long time though. Like I want to say that I ordered them in maybe beginning of November and they just showed up this week. So um, that that's a little bit of a long time. So that that is what I bought. So thanks, Sherry. Sherry doesn't know it, but she's become my best friend online. <laughs> Poor Sherry. She has an Instagram as well as a, um, a floss tube channel. And um, she is talented, you guys. Like she quilts, she posted on Instagram the other day this party that she did for her, her daughter, her birthday party. And holy, like you are an awesome mom, serious. Okay, um, the other thing that I got was, I am part of the So Much To Love fabric, uh, fabric Bag of the Month Club. Now this is one of two bag of the month clubs I will be in in January or 2020. Um, and I've been part of this one for a few months now. Maybe, do I have like maybe four or five bags, maybe six bags from Karen now. They're beautiful bags. So look at the fabric on this one. I mean, gorgeous. So two signatures I think of Karen's is this Rick Rack that goes along or this trim that goes along. Um, her piece and then this awesome cute little felt um, heart for the zipper pull super cute and so the back of the pattern or the bag I'm sorry and then the inside how cute it's just snowflakes pretty 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 and then um, the holly no they're not hollies they're um, spruce I don't know. I don't know. I am horrible at plants. My daughter's the plant person, but whatever these are, sprigs and berries. Let's go with that. Now, when you're part of the bag of the month club, you receive goodies. And so the goodies are in this lovely bag. And then it also came with a pattern from the floss box. So some months you get a pattern, some months you don't. Um, some months you get like all kinds of cool gadget tools and you know, all sorts of really cool things. So this one is, um, there's a pattern, it's called Cardinal Days from the Floss Box. And uh, this is what it looks like, how cute. I will definitely stitch that up. And it's not like I'm lacking in fabrics to do so, right? Okay, I'll just put this way over here. Okay, so let's open up and see what's in the little bag. She always includes really cool stuff in the bag. Oh, okay. Oh, here is a, a needle, a needle minder. It's called a magnetic ne needle keeper from a needle runs through it. How? Hmm. How pretty is that? So it looks like it is a wood, um, you know, engraved uh, needle keeper. And um, it's got a cardinal on it. Can you guys see that? 
a cardinal. There we go. That's better. A cardinal on a on a Hollies. I don't know. Again, I don't know. And then um, some color and cotton hand dyed threads, and it's called Bing Cherry. Where's my piece of paper? Nobody wants to see me. How beautiful is that? So that I'm going to assume was part of the pattern. And then a stash tee that says Christmas morning. Yes, so thank you so, so much. This is so beautiful. Um, oh, and, and the lady or the owner of the floss box is going to be also designing a chart for uh, 2020 um, for this bag of the month club as well. So how cool is that? That's, I love when designers do stuff like that, you know, make them a little more exclusive and, um, something that not everybody gets. So, you know, not everybody in the world is stitching the same thing, even though, I mean, that's cool too. There's nothing wrong with that. Goodness sakes. Okay. And then the last piece of stash I got, I mean, I was trying to make this a short, short video. I'm trying to make it a short video. <laughs> okay, the last one I got is I received, I was on Instagram and I want to say it is Threads Entwined. Um, you guys all know her. She's got a brick and mortar shop as well as an online store and for cross stitching and she is lovely and I guess she has taken up sewing again and making bags and I guess she did this before and stopped and I'm not really sure of the story just kind of what I saw from Instagram anyways she posted this bag and I happened to be on Instagram at the right time and I was like oh my god me please it's beautiful so it came in this uber cute package how cute is this yeah threads entwined um and she included a little thank you freebie let's check that out first i love when people like just put in a little oh how what oh my god this is my very first thank you guys This is my very first dinky dies. Look at this, you guys. And its color is apricot. Where's my piece of paper? Good Lord. The color is apricot. How? Thank you. I think your name is Trish. I really hope your name is Trish. Um, This is seriously my very first dinky dies hand silk. Oh. Like, I'm speechless. Thank you. Okay, let's go on to the bag, which is the whole reason. So it was, it's um, packaged. Oh, good Lord. Words are hard. They're hard. Um, it was packaged like this, really beautiful with a nice little thank you sticker. Um, Presentation, customer service is everything to me, and that means that I will be a long, lifelong customer, like seriously. Okay, so this was the bag that she posted. Tell me that this is not the cutest thing ever. So I guess her, uh, her other business name is Cabin Creek. So, so look at that her little tag cute cute um and oh the inside fabric cute and i just love this is so like me this is so me i'm very like kind of um vintagey farmy um you know kind of yeah that this is so me so when i saw this bag i was like i am gonna need to have that it's big. It's a nice size. It's, um, this will hold a eight by eight Q snap. I'm pretty sure really well. So, oh, and it has, a, see these things you don't even notice, Lisa. How cute is this? That's on the zipper pull. So, um, well made. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will be back. But, but here's the problem. Okay. So let's talk plans for 2020. 
thank you all so much for like Karen for your beautiful bag so much to love and Trish from Threads and Twine God I hope I have your name right um seriously you just made my day like really and truly just made my day so um and beautiful bag thank you thank you and of course LJ sorry to hear that you're no longer going to be dyeing fabrics but um I really loved what you had put out and I'm gonna miss you mister I'm gonna miss you anyways okay so let's talk plans 2020 couple of things I am part of Enchanted Stitchers uh Facebook group and they put out like weekly uh challenges homework um that kind of thing and that's actually how I got so much done on the Jordan Jardin Privé um 2019 Sal the first whip that I showed which I never told you what it was that's what it is it's the 2019 Noel Sal that she put on her website and it was free it came five parts every Saturday in November she released a new part um, they are all out now, ready to be downloaded. If you just want to, you know, one fell swoop and see what the whole pattern looked like. Um, it was beautiful. And um, as soon as, and I, I honestly like her patterns and buy and have quite a few of them. So anyway, 2020, where was I going? Um, 2020, Sal, where was I going? Oh, Enchanted Stitchers. Oh, goodness. Um, so I belong to that group and that's how I got so much done on myself, but um, I am going to continue doing that in 2020 because I like um, being able to pick and choose through the homework that I am able to do according to the whips that I have. So if you are interested, I will have that down below um, and you can go and join the group. It is actually a lot of fun, um, you know, some people are working towards certificates if that's what they're you know trying to do um things that they can post on their facebook i'm not sure um i really am just doing it so that it's kind of like holds me accountable as well as um i have something to strive for i'm like oh i haven't pulled that whip out for a while and this actually goes to it so you know or i can i can make my homework fit this so that's what I, I'm gonna just going to be. No, I'm part of Semi -stain, Sane Stitchers, which I have not actually participated in yet, and I need to get to. And then um, Full Fanatics, is that what it's called? I think it's Full Fanatics. And um, that is for full cross stitch pieces. Like, yeah, like there's no white space. Uh, or blank space and so I uh, have a few hades that I'm going to do and I think uh, somebody that I was watching on FlossTube the other day I don't remember who was talking about full coverage patterns on Etsy that they had bought and so I'm gonna have to go check that out too I have to do that in the next 11 days because the other thing I'm gonna do for 2020 is I um, I committed to be in part in a group called Stitch from Stash. Oh, words are hard. Stitch from Stash in 2020. And the premise is, is that you set your budget up to $25 a month. And so I'm going to go to the $25 a month. Let's not lie. And, um, and then every time you finish a piece, you can claim money money it's all like fictional right like you're not getting anything from the group it's just like this accountability on your part to stay within a budget and then also you know finish like it's kind of like a challenge to finish your whip so that you can gain more dollars money towards your budget so I'm like uh this appeals to me because while it's not necessary for me to be on a budget I mean yeah I'm that sounded wrong I don't have to be like, I, mm, okay, I'm going to stop there. I am going to do this group. <laughs> and um, so I'm excited about that. So what I'm really doing right now is getting into all of the subscriptions and, uh, you know, things of the month that I wanted to be a part of last time and was kind of like on the fans, hemming and hawing about. 
And um, so I'm joining those because they don't count towards your budget, which makes my little heart happy. So really the additional $25 or more a month. And the great thing is, is that you can, you know, uh, add your, if you don't spend your budget that month, you carry it over into the next month, which that also makes me kind of happy because I'm kind of a binge shopper. Like I will go in to my LNS and I will drop like a bunch of money and then you know, not buy anything for a month and maybe just go to Hobby Lobby in between or Michael's or Joanne's and pick up, um, you know, some floss that I need uh, when it's on sale. But for the most part, I, it, I am a really sporadic spender. And, but when I do, I dump a bunch. So, um, cause I must see all the pretty things, which is why I have to have the restraint I do to not go to my LNS. Anyway, Okay, so the other thing that I'm going to do is in 2020, I um, thought that there are so many designers who offer free patterns, either on their blogs, their websites, Instagram, Facebook pages, um, yeah, on their sites. Um, and so I, and I have been collecting free patterns for the last few years. I've been randomly printing them out as I've seen them. I follow this lady on uh, Instagram and her Instagram name is Pinker Pumpkin Quilting. And um, she posts almost daily, if I think she posts daily. And she has beautiful stitching. And, um, and so I see, you know, and like many, many of her posts, and she was posting a bunch of free, free pattern finishes that she had done or finishes that she had done from free patterns. And so I was like, oh my goodness, I haven't seen that pattern. And so then I went down a rabbit hole of going to all kinds of designers. And it really started with Pinker Pumpkin Quilting. I hope I have that right. I'm going to put it down below in my description. I don't know if she's got a floss tube uh, channel, um, but she is lovely. She posts and comments on almost every one of my posts and she's just wonderful and uh, kind and uplifting. And I just, every time I see a comment from her, she makes me smile. So, um, so really this idea came from her uh, in a roundabout way and um, from her beautiful posts. And so saying that all to say, I thought that I would do a freebie stitches in 2020. And um, the premise basically is, is to find free charts that are put out by designers and to stitch those throughout 2020. And so I will show them on my floss tube and I will post in Instagram and I did make a hashtag. I think it's hashtag freebie stitches 2020. And um, so I hope you will join me. I know that there, I probably don't know. Okay, no, not probably. I don't know all of the designers and, um, and what free patterns there are out there, you know, um, and so it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, and find new designers to me um, and maybe to other people as well, um, or that you didn't know that they, they put out free patterns and, um, you know, yeah. So anyways, this is one of them. I'm just going to show you quickly. Here is one that um, Beth Twist put out um, of Heartstring Samplery. And she put this one out, I think on her website, possibly might've been her blog. I'm not sure. Um, but she put this free chart out for Thanksgiving and how cute is it? I didn't print it in, in uh, color, but it's beautiful. And it says thankful, thankful every day. And it's got a bunch of little pumpkins on vines and stuff. It's super cute. And she put that pattern out for free. And, um, and it's a good size. Like it is, uh, did she say what it was? Um, it looks like it's 90 by 80. 
that's a that's a pattern you guys like that's a you know you go and pay ten dollars for a pattern she put that out for free so there's all kinds of like jardin Privé put this pattern this free salve out for 2019 she has other ones on her website as well and you know this this was a free free pattern free salve and um uh, I also do another one. It's a Facebook group. No, it is a Facebook group, but, uh, Brandon, I don't remember the name. I'm horrible at names, but I will link it down below. He does a free, um, stitch along every year. And I think that I have his patterns from 2017 on, I haven't done one of them, but they're beautiful. They're big. They're big. Um, you may know the 2019 one. It's got that big peacock in the center and everybody is doing the butterflies in the, for December and whew. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm thinking is that not only will it maybe, uh, get some other designers known, uh, out there that I didn't know. Um, and also to start inspiring me to actually get some of these patterns done because I have printed out quite a few. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Giveaway. Now that you've hung in this long, um, I'm going to do the giveaway. So in my last video, I said I had finished this Bent Creek uh, chalet pattern and I was going to do a pass the stash. So I put in the, I, I took a comment picker and I put in the video you are, mm, you guys can't see that, my video URL and um, put in the word that I had chosen, which was snowman. And I had five commenters for the snowman. So let's get a winner. And I said that I would, you know, mail this anywhere. Uh, Jean Frazier, you are the winner of this pattern, Jean Frazier. So if you uh, get a hold of me either on Instagram or um, uh, my email is linked down below as well and you won this little pattern so congratulations uh it was a cute little stitch and i believe you commented on my progress all the time as well um so congratulations dean that's it merry christmas everybody um i hope that you get to spend as much time uh, with your family during the holidays and that, um, you know, Christmas is a warm fuzzy for you. And uh, whether you are, you know, cooking, eating, sewing, spending time with family, playing games, reading, you know, just having your me time, like whatever it is, I, I wish all the happiness in the holiday season to you. And I will see you in my next video. All right. Bye-bye.